With Application Insights, it's super easy to push our log messages up as trace telemetry. Let's mash on that. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the ASP.NET Monsters. Today's episode is a continuation of our series on the fantastic tool that is Application Insights. And today we're going to focus on pushing log messages. Yes. Okay. So in ASP.NET Core, it's really easy to do logging, right? It's one of the built-in services as part of our app. So for example, if I wanted to, well, actually this index page already has a logger in there. And I could start logging things like, I mean, there isn't really anything useful to say in the context of this application, but let's just say that I want to say some sort of debug message. And you're all fantastic developers, so you probably have tons of logging in your application already. Yes. And wouldn't it be great if you could see that in Application Insights correlated with all your other uh, request and dependency telemetry? It turns out that that's super easy to do and already built into the Application Insights SDK for ASP.NET Core. All we need to go do is go to our program.cs and add a little bit to configure login. Dot configure login. And we just say login dot add application insights. And that will automatically send whatever log messages we have with uh, as part of the built-in ASP.NET Core login up to application insights for us. That's, that's it? Wow, super easy. It was easier than I thought it was going to be when I went to do this. Um, I was used to doing this in in like ASP.NET applications pre-core and it usually meant, well, you didn't have built-in login there, right? So it was mm -hmm. dependent on what login framework you were using. And it, it is still really easy if you're using nlog or if you're using serlog. There's uh, packages that you install that just forward that tra the log messages up as trace telemetry. It's still really easy to do, uh, but this is even easier. Okay, so we have some data up there now. Let's go see what it sent. Or hopefully we have some data up there. Let's actually go look at this from a different angle. We're going to go to log analytics, and we talked about these different types of telemetry here. And when we those log messages get sent up as trace telemetry as opposed to like the requests and dependencies that we've mostly been looking at so far. So I can actually just ask for all the traces that have come in in the last 24 hours by saying, give me the traces. Hmm. Oh, that's performance counters from before. So there was some trace telemetry coming in already. Just a diagnostics message from the SDK there. You can, you can in log analytics. I always find this kind of useful, as you can switch between displaying things in UTC or local time. Mm -hmm. That gives me a better indication of what data I'm looking at here. And so this panel that you've got here, this is a whole query engine, right? That allows you to to write arbitrarily complex queries. Mm -hmm. It's a. I believe the language is originally called Kustos. I don't know if they still refer to it as that, uh, but it's a really powerful language that lets you. Uh, query all this different telemetry that comes in. And uh, there's lots of, it's it's a little bit goofy to learn, but it's not too bad once you get going. One of the things that's really nice in terms of learning it is if you go to say the performance tab here as an example, uh, let's say you wanted to see what the query was that pulls back this data for this part of the screen. You can actually say view in log analytics mm -hmm. and you can tell it to show you what the query is that it runs to display that. Ooh, that's a much more complicated query than I would have written. Mm -hmm, me too. So I'm glad that they have those in there. But it, yeah, I, they're really good samples that are useful as opposed to just, you know, the way samples sometimes are. Mm -hmm. Not so useful. Um, it, make, it really helps with, with learning it. And then the other place that they have some interesting ones are on the new query page. They have some getting started sample queries. So things like request performance and failures and 
here's just a history of the ones that I've run lately. No, it looks like I might have that additional message in there, maybe. No, not Okay, I may not have configured this properly. So, let's go back and run this again. I thought that the filtering would apply and just send everything up there, but maybe we need to be specific about it. So, what we're going to do is add a filter to our login. It's too long to type out. I'm going to copy it. It might be because your lock message was at the debug level, right? Yeah, so they might have been filtered out uh, already. So what's the lowest level would be? Trace? Trace, I think. So I'm going to tell it to send everything up to no matter what namespace it is. So this is kind of neat with the filters because you could say something like if it's from the Microsoft namespace, I only want to see the errors. Right. But from uh, my namespace, which is whatever application insight sample, I want to see trace. So that is nice and powerful. But let's just see if we can send everything up to App Insights. So we want to see as much data as possible. And actually what I'm going to do is go over to, there's so many different pieces of App Insights, which I find kind of fun. But let's look at the live metrics here. I believe that might actually show the, the trace telemetry coming in as the Ooh. Hello, Simon. Ooh. Yes. So there's all my trace telemetry coming through nice. now. So this is trace telemetry like from ASP.NET Core, from their from the host filtering in this case, and all the like routing matching request endpoint matching, all that stuff is coming through, which is pretty cool that you can just turn that on and get all that information there. Um, I'm a little bit confused why I don't see my message, my random message. Do you see it in there? No, I can't see. I do. Well, this is sample. I would expect to see it all there, but let's go back to log analytics and see what we see. So I want to see all my traces. Let's explore log analytics a little while we're here. So we're going to say where the timestamp is greater than, this is so different than what we would see in uh, in something like SQL, where you're writing queries. But I'm going to say where my TAM stamp is greater than five minutes ago. And I'm going to do order by timestamp descending. So we do have a whole bunch of trace telemetry in here now. Oh, well, there's a lot of trace when you tell it to send everything here. It's interesting. Let's see if we can search specifically yeah, for the chat. message. Okay, so the message is the, the thing that we want to query by, or let's say where message equals Oh, there it is. Uh, okay, right. so it was there all along. Uh, neat. So that's that's the raw trace. Uh, but what's what's more interesting to me is how you can come in here and go back to the performance tab again and start looking at. We just look at our most recent data. If we go to one of those end-to-end -end transaction details again. 
and hit view all telemetry instead of so this is something what they call the um, shoot what do they call that the timeline view which just shows us all the dependencies that we call <laughs> lays them out on a timeline but we can actually see more details there by saying view all telemetry and then we see everything laid out in not a timeline view but just in a group in a grid here of all the things that happen. So uh, lots and lots of information there, but all correlated to that request so that we can see just the log messages for that request, which is something that if you're used to looking at log files just in a file, where everything gets dumped in, uh, yeah, it can be a little bit of work to, to get things out for just that request that you're looking at. So super useful. And where was the other place I wanted to show these? I think that was it. For the, the trace telemetry. Uh, we talked about the filters and how you can kind of set that up for specifically what you want to see. So it might be something that you, you're you having issues and you turn it up to trace to get all that information. You might not want trace info all the time, but uh, having that ability to turn it on sometimes, maybe just for a single node, uh, so that you can get the data you need to figure out the, the problem that you're having is super useful. And the logging, it has support for structured logging too, right? So it I does. Pass yeah. Parameters in. yeah, so the parameters that you, you pass in, uh, if you look at log analytics, when we look at those traces, um, if you had parameters for that message, they would show up under custom dimensions as a named parameter. So you could actually, and that's what they're doing here with um, the, the built-in login in ASP.NET Core is that it's telling me what the action name is and what my environment is and all these things are are getting set for me. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Well, that's uh, three episodes down, I think, on Application Insights, and I'm sure we could do 100 more. Yep, we might easily. We 100 more episodes on this. <laughs> all right, but in the meantime, thank you again everybody for joining us on this episode and while you are gone waiting for us to publish the next episode feel free to upvote this one and share it and reblock it and all of those fantastic things instagram it too please please do because we're not there yeah i don't i don't know anything about instagram the gram i think is what they call it now uh yes i only know that because somebody on the youtube channel i watch referred to it as that <laughs> Uh, what a wonderful world we live in. Mm. Thanks, all. Okay, bye.